Hello everybody, and today we're going to be reading Diary of Wimpy Kid Cock and Ball Torture, because why not? Uh, yeah, this, this, this one might actually get taken down by YouTube. I don't know if I've seen people who've, like, read this on YouTube. I don't know if they've had to take, like, special precautions with what they do and don't show or what they say or don't say. So, yeah, um, I don't know. I'm just going to kind of wing it. Hopefully nothing goes wrong, but... Just in case it does, just like and subscribe. You just have to. It'll be greatly appreciated. Maybe leave a nice comment. Who knows? Maybe while you're down there, you also tell me some fan fictions to read. I don't know. Uh, anyway, yeah, let's get straight into it. You can see a very colorful um, title here. A very colorful cover page. Looks very nice. And yeah, let's get straight into it. Monday, Rowley and I had to do throwing exercising during the Zed today. And let me just say, I did not know Rowley was into certain things that I'll be explaining right now. So we were throwing a football at each other, when suddenly I missed, and instead of aiming the ball towards his hands, I aimed it towards his balls. I know how being hurt in balls feels like, I think every boy does, so I obviously ran to check on him, but what I did not expect was to see him blushing. Get, we're getting a tad gay here. I, I don't feel very straight reading this, but let's move on. Hit my balls again, Greg. Yeah, what did I just say? I, I'm, I'm, I'm done with these fan fictions. I, I can't keep reading these and say soon. Okay, no, no, no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish. I was weird though and asked him what he was on about. Well, was that nothing? Tuesday. Well, yesterday sure was strange, and it also made me curious. Do people like getting their balls crushed? Maybe I'll check Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia, for help. I was surprised there was an answer to my question. Something called cock and ball torture exists. And don't even ask me why anyone would actually enjoy that. By the way, I wasn't the only one to find out CBT today. I really got an abbreviation for it. It's getting a bit too comfortable with this term, if you ask me. I actually turned on the wiki article read aloud option, and I had my computer's volume at max. My room, you have a very, very nice drawing there. Cock and ball torture for Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia. Yen.wikipedia.org. Cock and ball torture, and then there's a downstairs kitchen, and... Brad, Roderick and Frank look quite exuberant, and Susan does not look too happy because she doesn't have a cock to be tortured. I quickly stopped the audio, but I think it was already too late. Before I knew it, my little brother Manny was at my door looking for me. What is quack and boil torture, Bubby? Well, I knew there was really no point in trying to hide it, so I just spilled the beans. I explained how CBT was a sexual activity involving the main male genitalia, with some activities involving wax, blade, ball busting, tip, and torture, and much more. I read that very quickly because I don't want to spend more time reading that than I have to. But I should have probably stopped talking at the point because what I was saying gave Manny an idea. Ooh, top 10 sounds to anime deaths right here. He was way too fast. Out of nowhere, I thought a sharp and quick fist eliminate my manhood. I couldn't move. I felt nothing below my waist. I felt like I was going to totally die right then and there. I like, choked up in tears. The last thing I heard were Manny's giggles. Now I'm stuck in a hospital waiting for the doctors to heal my balls. And let me just say, I think they're officially done for. Sunday. I haven't seen my family at all these past few days, but I did see someone else. I'm so sorry, Greg. I guess I should blame Rowley for making me curious about CBT, but whatever. Rowley and I began talking. I asked him if anything of importance has been happening at school while I was gone. And supposedly there has. Rumors are now being spread about me losing my nutsack, and they're giving me the nickname Zero Gregsticles. Plus, this is all thanks to Rowley not being able to keep his mouth shut. Where I could start throwing slurs at him, he told me that he and his family bought me a new set of prosthetic legs. Avery told me this, a doctor appeared with a large box. Lost my balls, 2000. It's very epic. Fly. And that's the end. Wait, how can he, like, wait, why does he need new legs? He's just like, if you, if you lose your dick, are you, like, paralyzed from the waist down? Is that just how it works? He just has, well, is he just lost the will to use his lower body? I mean, he gets fly. I don't think anybody could do that that I know of with their dick. Not that many people, at least, that I know. It's a very rare gift. It's, it's made by Apple and Android. That's a collaboration. I don't know why it's on this that they chose to make their first collaboration, but that's nice. Anyway, hope you guys enjoy. Make sure to like and subscribe. And, um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. Hit the bell not to miss videos, I guess. And, yeah, my next video will be, will be on, like, I don't know, sometime. Probably Wednesday. Maybe Sunday, if this isn't out on Saturday. Wait. No. no you know what? I'm not, I just, just like and subscribe. Just like and subscribe.